So there are a lot of use cases where we want to launch a process every time we receive a new email. This is why today, just in seven minutes, we're going to create an email trigger process. And the best thing is this method can be applied to Gmail, Outlook, or any other email provider. Hey guys, my name is Reda. I'm a UI Desmos valuable professional. And today we're going to see how to launch a process every time a new email is received. Let's jump right in. First thing we want to do is open up UI Path Studio. Here we are going to create a new process. Let's call it Gmail trigger. Trigger process. Let's click on open main workflow and right away, let's go to search and look for used email is an activity that is so handy and it's so useful and here we are going to connect our gmail so uh, if you don't have your email already connected just click on add new account uh, leave this at default and click on ok and then you will have this page opened and you are going to connect it to one of your emails so i'm going to connect it to this one i already have this connected they just click on this one and leave it on read and compose and permanently delete. Your iPad is not going to do anything. You're going to do everything yourself. So don't worry about this. Just give it access and click on continue. So now we can close this window and we're going to go back here and we are going to choose our Gmail that we are going to be using. So well, we're going to need the reference as Gmail and here we are going to use an site. And now we need to create a, a variable called, let's call it first email, for example, first email. And here we're going to browse for type and we're going to look for mail message. We are going to have three different, uh, mail messages, uh, three different types of mail message. Let's choose the, this one system.net.mail. Let's cut. Now let's use this variable in here and we are going to assign it with Gmail dot folder. Let's say, for example, we want to search in the inbox. So the folder is going to be inbox and then we are going to choose the first element zero. So this is going to be this is going to be our, um, this is going to be our first email that we have just received. After that, let's say, for example, just so that our process actually shows something, let's say we are going to show the, the first email, uh, date. So first email that's header headers. And here we are going to type in date. So this is our, this is our message that we are going to show just so that our process actually shows the date that we have, where we have received the email. So let's publish this process. Let's call it G let's keep it on Gmail trigger process and let's keep it on the personal workspace. So let's publish the process. process have been successfully published and now let's go to our orchestrator let's go to orchestrator now we click on automations we say in process and we already have a gmail uh, process uh, trader process already added in here so now we already have the process. All we need to do is go and set up the trigger that we want. So let's go to integration service. And here, let's say on my workspace and under connectors, let's look for Gmail. We're going to find Gmail. Let's click on it. I already have a connection already set up, but I will delete it just to show you how I created it. 
It's actually very simple to do. You just click on add connection. You are redirected in here and you click on connect. That's literally everything that you need to do. And then you choose the email, of course, that you want to use, which is in this case, our email, this one. Let's click on continue. And integration has been successfully done. All we need to do now is go in here, click on uh, the three dots, click on manage triggers, and let's add a new trigger. So it's going to be the connector name is Gmail, the connection is to this uh, Gmail, and then the event will be once the email is received. So every time an email is received, this is the event that we want to have, and then we can add condition. Let's say, for example, the email should have a, it should have a subject on the contains a report. So the subject contains reports. Every time a client, for example, send us a report or send us uh, any type of document that have a subject where we have a subject uh, contains reports, we will be able to read that email and trigger an automation behind it. So here, let's click on here and go and process to execute. We're going to choose a Gmail trigger process. And here, let's choose the license. If you guys don't have a, a license already attributed or you have a problem setting up the orchestrator, just let me know in the comments. I will show you how to do that uh, really fast. So, so that's all. That's everything that we need to do. We're just going to click on add trigger. And now we have our uh, trigger already set up. So now everything that we need to do is go to Gmail. Now let's compose an email for ourselves. So I'm going to compose an email myself. Of course, the reports has uh, the subjects has to have reports in it. Let's say reports analysis April, for example. Let's name it test. And let's send the, send the email. Now I just received the email, I send it to myself. And now I'm going to wait for the uh, process to be launched automatically. I won't do anything. So we will go back here and we will wait for the process to be launched. I am not going to launch the process. We'll just wait for it until it's launched automatically. Now the process is launched and here I have my message box with the exact dates of the, uh, the email. Let's go back to the Gmail. Let's see if that's right, that's correct or not. So here we have 849, which is exactly it. Today's date is the 15th of April. So, so it's good. It's good. So the, the process is working. Now let's see what we can actually do with the process as long as saving attachments, replying to the email, or doing something useful with it. So let's click on OK. The process is going to end. If I send a new email, the same thing would happen. Let's go back to our process. Uh, now let's say, for example, instead of just uh, showing a message box, we want to reply to the email. So let's uh, go here and search for reply email. Reply to email, Gmail under our Gmail outlet. Let's place it in here. Let's say the email that we want to respond to is first email, and we want to send it to ourselves. Say, so I'm just going to type this. The subject is going to be shouldn't be report. We don't want to retrigger the email. They just say uh, the email trigger. Email triggered. And here, let's click on text and say, Reports, reports were received. Saved. And here, let's not save it as draft, let's just send it. And now we're just going to publish our process. Let's save the process, Control S. Let's publish the process. Let's make sure that it's always the personal workspace. Let's just click on publish. The process is going to be updated automatically. In, uh, in, in the orchestrator, in our personal space. And at the same time, it's going to be updated in the trigger. So the, the next time we're going to send a new email, it's going to trigger the new process that we have just published.
So here, let's say, for example, we're going to send another email for ourselves that just named our reports. Of course, here, uh, let's just say we test replying to email. And let's just send the email. Now we're going to wait for a moment for the email to be triggered. Good. So the process have just been triggered. Now it has shown me the message box and also it should also uh, reply with an email right now. It should send an email just so that we uh, actually, yeah, good. So yeah, I just received it right now and the email said and the reports were received. That's it. So yeah, now we can reply to emails or save attachments or do whatever we want to do with the process. And now we have uh, a trigger that the pro this process will be launched whenever we have a new email. So let's go guys to integration services. I want to show you one last thing. So here, if we go to integration services, my workspace under connections, if we click on Gmail, we will have a chicken for every five minutes. This is why the first sign uh, I launched the process. I have waited for almost four minutes because uh, the, 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 the trigger is only going to uh, look for new emails every uh, interval of five minutes. Now we can change that. We can make it one hour or 15 minutes. If we have like a low density, if we have a low volume of emails that comes around, or we can just go for custom and make it the least amount of or minutes possible, which is one minute. So here, for example, we can just type in one minute and it will check every one minute for new emails, which is going to make it so much more responsive. Let's click on update and check. And now it's checking for events every one minute. So yeah, that was it for me, guys. Uh, hopefully, guys, you've enjoyed this video and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.